If you've been having troublesome vision problems that interfere with the way you see the world, your doctor may have mentioned the condition keratoconus, or KC. KC is a progressive eye disorder that usually appears in people in their teens or early 20s. KC impacts the cornea, the dome-shaped clear covering on the front of your eye that bends light so it can properly focus on images. In people with KC, the cornea weakens and thins over time, causing a cone-like bulge to form. This can result in significant visual loss and in severe cases, the need for a corneal transplant. The good news is that there is now an FDA-approved therapy that can treat progressive keratoconus. Called corneal cross-linking, this minimally invasive outpatient procedure combines the use of specially formulated vitamin B2 eye drops called Fotrexa and Fotrexa viscous, plus ultraviolet light from the KXL system. Corneal cross-linking stiffens and strengthens the cornea that has been weakened by disease. The procedure takes about an hour. Typically, you will be awake during the treatment you will be given relaxing medication and numbing eye drops. Then the thin layer on the surface of the cornea, called the epithelium, will be gently and temporarily removed. Fotrexa viscous eye drops will be placed in your eye for at least 30 minutes. Depending on the thickness of your cornea, Fotrexa drops may also be required. The cornea is then exposed to ultraviolet light for another 30 minutes while additional Fotrexa viscous drops are applied. After the procedure, you may experience some sensitivity to light and have a foreign body sensation. Without treatment, keratoconus may cause your vision to deteriorate, sometimes rapidly. Cross-linking is not intended to improve your eyesight, but can prevent it from getting worse. If you have been diagnosed with KC, talk to your doctor to see if corneal cross-linking is right for you. You can find a list of doctors who are familiar with keratoconus and cross-linking at avidro.com. Avidro's corneal cross-linking procedure is the first and only therapeutic solution to receive FDA approval for the treatment of progressive keratoconus. It offers an effective treatment for patients who until recently had no therapeutic options to limit progression of this sight-threatening disease. The most common side effects are haze, inflammation, fine white lines, disruption of surface cells, eye pain, reduced sharpness of vision, and blurred vision. Ulcerative keratitis, a potentially serious eye infection, can occur. Your doctor should monitor you for resolution of epithelial defects if they occur. These are not all the side effects of corneal cross-linking. The FDA-approved product labeling can be found at avidro.com. You may report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. The safety and effectiveness of corneal cross-linking has not been established in pregnant women, women who are breastfeeding, patients who are less than 14 years of age, and patients 65 years of age or older. Cross-linking is only performed by specialists, and a Vidro's corneal cross-linking procedure is the only FDA-approved therapeutic solution for treatment of this disease. You can find a doctor near you through the locator tool link on this website.